Hello and welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Richard Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Thanks for joining me today. And today I'm going to talk about the sublist function and how to create a rolling average using sublist. And if you have uh, questions about generally how to use the sublist function, you can look at episode 10 where I talk about uh, sublist and how it was introduced in the latest Quantrix release of version 5.3. I have here a very basic model. It is uh, it has two matrices. It has one called sales and the other called rolling control. And sales uh, lists sales by month for each year. And what I want to do is I want to create a rolling average based off of whatever is listed here in rolling control. I have here a couple uh, helper cells, as I like to call them. And I have them here just to talk a little bit about the proper syntax that is required to use the sublist when creating a rolling average. If I were to use hashtag year month here and or hashtag month year, as you can see in these two different helper cell formulas, I get two different results. And it's important that when trying to create a rolling average using sublist that I use hashtag year month so that it will give me the correct uh, sequence of numbers. So if I want to say, say I start in month 12 and I want to go back three months, it will go back to 9 instead of going from 23 to 19 and, and making really no sense as it would with month year. So in order to get a rolling average you need to make sure that you use this month year syntax to get the, the sequential numbers uh, correctly. And let me demonstrate that. So if I go rolling average equals average of sublist uh, sublist I need to go year month sales and it's important that we qualify that as fully year month sales and where do I want to go from well I want to go from the current year but I want to go back three months or whatever is rolling so how do I get the position of the current year again I use the hashtag year month which is really like my row ID or my category line item ID if you will so I go year month and I want to go back rolling in this case three months and then I'm going to add one here okay and you'll see why that's necessary to add back the one to make it inclusive of this year and then what do I want to do? I want to go all the way to uh, the current month, year. So I would go hashtag year month to fill in that argument of the sublist. So from and to. Okay. And once I do that, you can see that, let's say I'm, I'm in period 7 of 2014, I want to create a three month rolling average. That would take me back one, two, three months. I can see that my average is 502,138 and that's exactly what's populating here, 502,138. Also, if I'm going across years, again this is some timeline beauty here, but if I'm going across years as well, I get 726,524, 726,524. If I go ahead and say I were to update this and say I wanted a five month rolling average, it op updates it of course automatically like we would expect in Quantrix Modeler. Also a thing to note here is that say I am doing a five month rolling average but I'm here at the beginning of my time and I only have three months, Quantrix is smart enough it uses something akin to soft recursion and it goes out and it pulls in just the averages of what is available if my total uh, to and from uh, doesn't meet the the criteria here of five so you can see it just takes the three months instead of trying to get five months or adding zeros for five months for the last two months so that is some great new functionality in Quantrix Modeler on how to use uh, the sublist function to create a rolling average if you have any questions about Quantrix that you need answered Feel free to email me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. You can, of course, follow me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter at Quantrix Author. And I'd be more than happy to uh, talk to you about Quantrix. So 
please contact me and uh, please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Richard Lopez. I love Quantrix.